box that I showed a few minutes ago, you still need to connect the app to ChatGPT or one of the other language models that you, you might want to use using something called an API. And you have to get an API key. And that you do at the in the case of ChatGPT, you, you go to the OpenAI webpage. And after the steps are here, you create an account if you haven't already got one. You have to set up a payment method. And the reason you have to do that is because it charges you a small amount for how much it is you use. Uh, the app inside uh, RStudio, it actually charges you very, very little. So it's not like a huge expense. It's actually, it doesn't charge you much, but there is a cost associated with using it. So keep that in mind. Um, and then you create an API key. Now, let me talk you through how to do those three steps. I've created a cheat sheet as to how to do all of this. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna provide a link that'll take you to a place where you can get the cheat sheets, all of the cheat sheets that I create absolutely for free. Uh, that's at learnmore365.com, but you know, there'll be a link at the end of the video. And on this, I've got the links to OpenAI, the billing section where you set up the, you know, the setting up how much you, you prepared to pay. And again, it doesn't cost you much. And then how to generate your API key. When you go to these web pages, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click on the button that says create uh, API and you cut and paste that. I'm not gonna click on the link because I don't wanna show you my API key necessarily. So you can understand that, but this is how you do it. I'll provide all of these uh, in this page that you can access for free and you can click on the links. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, and by the way, the page that you're looking at right now, which has got a lot of details about how to set up chat R, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's called a complete guide. This entire page, everything about this was created with code that Claude wrote for me. And, and I didn't change the code at all. I literally cut and pasted straight into RStudio. I pushed render, boom shakalaka, this is what I got. So this is an example of how you can use uh, AI to generate code that produces real outputs. It's, it's really quite remarkable. Now to connect chat R to your API key, it's reasonably easy, but these are steps you have to take. You may or may not already have the use this package installed on your computer. Most people have, if you haven't just install packages, use this, then library, use this, you've got it. That will give you this function here, edit R environ. And if you run that line of code, it will open up this page here for you. You type in this function over here, open AI underscore API underscore key equals, and no blanks or spaces just as it is at the moment and then paste the key that you got from OpenAI into the section over here and push enter. At that point you really want to just save and close RStudio down and open it up again. Once you've done that you can check that it's worked right by typing in sys uh, get env open brackets 